Hi and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Phelan and today we're going to look at the Palomino SS550. Before we get started, this camper fits on a five and a half foot bed, six and a half and eight foot bed on any full size truck. Um, first of all, we'll get started. It does come with this assist grab handle. You have a friction entry door, so where you leave it is where it stays. It also has a privacy shade in the window. And then we'll have a porch light on the outside as well as you, it's prepped for a backup camera. So if you'd like to add a backup camera, that can be added. Um, it does come with your manual, elect, or manual jacks here. It does come with a hand crank as well as a, an adapter where you can put on a cordless drill to run it up and down that way. Outside shower here comes with a hot and cold outside shower, 30 amp connection. It does come with a 30 amp detachable power cord that is included, as well as another cord I'll get to here in a bit. This is your drain for the kitchen sink, so there is no holding tank for the kitchen sink. It just comes out of this port here. Uh, you would either run it into a toad or a bucket or whatever. Uh, water heater is an on-demand water heater, so the nice thing about this is it's only using gas when you're using hot water. So it is like 60% more efficient than what we've used in the past. So very nice on that. And then you'll have the adjustments on the inside. Furnace vent, uh, refrigerator vents here, and then you have your city water and fresh water connection. Uh, your fresh water connection is if you dry camp, you can fill your fresh water holding tank, turn on your water pump switch on the inside for your water supply. If you're at a campground, you can connect right to your city water connection here and get your water source like that. Moving around here in the front, we do have your battery disconnect switch. So if you're putting the camper into storage and don't want your batteries to drain, you can disconnect that. You have a portable uh, connector. So if you have a portable solar panel, you can connect to this. It is also prepped for solar on the roof. So if you'd like to add solar, uh, panels on the roof, you can do that as well. This seven-way cord is a double seven-way male cord. Uh, you plug it into here, run it back, and plug it into the seven-way on your truck. That is how you run your running lights. Uh, if you're traveling, it will also charge your onboard batteries while you're traveling, and or if you're plugged into 110, will also charge your onboard batteries. Um, if you're parking overnight somewhere, uh, I would advise to disconnect this, put it in the holder here, because if you do use up the battery on the camper, it will also pull from the truck. So just disconnect it from here, set it in here if you're staying somewhere overnight. So we walk around the front, you can see how it looks there with everything open. Uh, if you look at the pictures on our website, I also have it in the closed position so you can see what that looks like. Then on this side, you'll have a one 20 pound LP tank, and that will be filled by the Outpost RV. And I believe that concludes the outside of the Palomino SS550, and now we'll move to the inside. Okay, before we get started on the inside, I do wanna go over the roof lift a little bit. So I did lower the roof just slightly uh, to demonstrate, and I also wanna go over the um, remote here. So. At the top, you'll have a button here. If you push that, right now is in red. If you push and hold it for 10 seconds, it turns to green. So if you'd like to upgrade to the electric jacks on the outside, that can be done. And then uh, that plugs in and that's how you operate each jack individually or all four together. Um, right now it is in the red mode, which is the roof. So we go red for roof, green for your electric jacks if you upgrade to that and then you're up and down for your roof. So I did lower the roof a little bit and I wanna demonstrate when you close the camper up, that if you turn on the fan above the bed, which I have on, it'll create a vacuum so it'll help tuck in your canvas as you lower the roof. So I'm gonna close the door to demonstrate the, demonstrate the uh, vacuum that it has. Okay, as we move to the inside, we'll have your kitchen to the left, your dinette to the right, and then your bed in the cab over. 
we're going to go ahead and swing around and get started here in the kitchen area. Down below is a fire extinguisher. That's where your remote is. Right here is your controller for the remote. So this green light has to be on for your remote to work. There's also a cord that comes along with it that you can plug into here and the remote to charge the remote. Um, the water heater controller is right here. That's how you adjust your temperature, turn it off and on. We have your furnace here as well. The sink is a single bowl. Uh, it does come with this grate that rolls up and you can remove out of the way if you'd like. Uh, so that is a single bowl square style sink. And we have your hot and cold water. Stove top uh, gives you more prep space if you're not using your stove. And that is a two, two burner stove top. Up above is your overhead cabinets. Uh, the one there has a shelf in it. The other two in here do not. So those are nice. If you want to unclip, take to the house, uh, that can be done. Refrigerator is gas, electric, and 12 volt. And that does have your separate freezer compartment here at the top. Up in the bed area, you have some storage at the foot of the bed. Uh, this is not a huge amount of storage, but storage is very critical when it comes to a truck camper. So it is smart to make storage wherever we can. Foot locker on each side for storage of the mattress. This is a regular queen, 60 by 80 residential queen mattress. And You'll notice the cushion at the bed. I'll get to that when I get to the dinette. So just remember there is an extra cushion there. And then above the bed is the big uh, max fan that I was talking about. Backing up here in the dinette area, again in more storage, you have a drawer there at the top. You have a cabinet door at the bottom there. Uh, if you're taking a porta pot along, that is where that would get stored. You'll also see the uh, water pump switch right here. So if you're going off grid, that's where your water pump switch would be located. Up here is your thermostat for the furnace. Uh, you also have a USB port as long as well as a uh, 110 outlet. Overhead hanging storage over here on this side. And then we have your dinette. So here uh, you can remove the table and pedestal. There is storage down. There's like a false floor at the bottom. So you can store the leg in there and along with some other items. Um, but then the cushion that I was talking about on the bed would fill this in. So you do have a sleeping area down here in the dinette if needed. I believe that concludes the inside of the Palomino S S550. Do one more brief show around and you can contact myself Henry or Jeremy at 866-338-9845. Again, my name is Phelan and thank you for watching.